not going to give her a catch. So that is why the corona is saying that you are stay at home, peaceful, be with the family. That uh, Silla sister was out of station and she brought it <laughs> for out station. <laughs> so that used to be uh, welcome. <laughs> uh that uh, that uh, corona is our uh, honored guest <laughs> because yes they have come from outside yeah <laughs> we are always giving them due weightage yeah. <laughs> 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 Sound down the disabled on this one. Yeah. The sound is okay now, nah, sir. The sound is clear now. Nah? Yes, yes, sister. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Can we start? So I think we can start the time now. So very good morning to all. Uh, hope you are around. Okay. Yeah. Uh, kindly uh, mute the mic. If you can on the cam, it's okay, no problem. So otherwise, we can uh, avoid the disturbance. The topic I'm covering is MCFT 001 Human Development and Family Relationships. Today, main focus is block number one human development. Mostly, the theoretical part is our. Uh, uh, way of learning today. Theory as such we know, it's a dragging one. So kindly uh, cooperate with me um, and uh, make it more uh, colorful and meaningful the day. In this uh, first... Varisa, can you mute the... Uh, sister, can you ask Varisa to mute the uh, microphone? The sound is yeah, not clear. Please. Please mute the others. Please mute the all the microphones so it will be avoid the disturbance. Okay. Is it clear my voice? Can yes, I? Yes, sister. But yes, no, sister. the other mics are on. We can't. Really? I will just check it. Is there anyone? Vargis, uh, sir, please mute once. I think the on mics are like that one. Vargis, sir. And the uh, Father Rindo, CMI, please mute the mic, please. Here, our ID is showing that. I already muted. Muted, yes, it's right. Vargis, PJ, sir, please mute. Otherwise, the noise, other, uh, the disturbance noise will comes from your side. Yes, right. I think hopefully everyone muted. So we can start now. Is it clear now? Yes, sister. Yes, yes. Thank you. Okay. Mute it, please. Okay, thank you. So uh, in the block number 1001, uh, there are five uh, blocks. Uh, in the first block, we are um, dealing with human development theoretical approaches. The theory means theory of human development or developmental psychology mainly. There are so many theories related to developmental pattern of human being. They are written here. What all the theories they are focusing in this book uh, are uh, psychoanalytic theory of Freud, cognitive theory of Piaget, learning theory of uh, uh, Paget, then theory of intelligence, humanistic theory of Carl Roger and the group, uh, ethological theories and contextual theory of Vygotsky, uh, and plenty of other theories are focusing on block number one human development theoretical approaches. In this main block, block there are five units, five chapters in other words. The first chapter are just giving a glimpse of what all the things we are discussing in each unit or each chapter. The first chapter mainly on the introduction of human development or the introduction of the developmental psychology. In other words, developmental psychology. 
So in that chapter, main focus is scientific foundations of the development, major goals, nature and domains of human development, and the different stages of Western and it's added in IGNO program. It's an Indian thinkers view also added in this uh, chapter. Unit two, that means chapter two in the first block, uh, it's a biological perspective. Uh, what the uh, physiology health perspectives of human development, genetic foundations of chromosomal divisions, genetic abnormalities, all the biological or physical aspects is connected to the development of a person. And the chapter number three, it's mostly starting from the theory parts. It's a psychoanalytic theory purely discussing in unit three, uh, psychosexual theory of human, uh, that Sigmund Freud, psychosocial theory of Eric Erickson, and Neo-Freudian, that's a group of persons mostly focusing on the personality theories. And unit four is mostly focusing on the cognitive or learning and intelligence theories of human development. And the last, uh, humanistic and ethological and contextual theories of uh, Carl Roger, Maslow, all the things uh, is sharing in the unit five. These are the glimpses of uh, block number one, human development, MCFT 001. Now we are purely going to chapter one or unit one. Uh, the title, title of that unit is Introduction to Human Development. Uh, we all know that what is human development or developmental psychology. Developmental psychology is the psychology of human being. It is starting from the time of conception to the time of death. The conception takes place when the egg from the mother's body and the sperm from the father's body union together and that union is named as conception. From the conception till the death, we are focusing in the human development process. So that is the thing we are covering uh, in the introduction part. It's saying that human growth and change. There are three things is happening in the time of conception or the developmental pattern of life. What are the three processes? The first and important process is change. That is the most important process while we are talking about the development or the developmental psychology. Because each moment or each second or each change, there is a change is happening in maybe the physiological or psychological or mental, cognitive, social level. For example, uh, if the child is around the age of six, when the child reached the age of 16, we are still categorizing that the child, the category is the person is in the child. Because if the age is 6 and the age is 16, is considered as part of the childhood period. Some people are calling that, that 16 is an adolescent, the name is different, and the 6 is the early childhood. That is the stage-wise change. But the age-wise change, the mental capacity and the mental age, what are the things the child do in the sixth age may change when they reach into the age of 16. And the child is maybe starting to walk uh, or sit at the age of one, the first year onwards. When it reach into the second year, there is a change that the child is starting to walk or run or take the bicycle or tricycle like that. So always this is a physical change or a visible change we can see. The same way the structural change, mental change, cognitive change, social change, each and every moment there's a change is taking place in human being that is known as the developmental psychology major or more focus on one part is change. The other part is the change is taking place because of there is a process is taking place in our self. That's why the change is happening. So that is why developmental psychology secondly think or focus on the process. What are the processes taking place in the early childhood, adolescence, middle age, late adulthood like that. So there is a process is going on from the time of conception till the time of death. And there is a progress is happening. Development itself is mean that's a growth. So it's a not declining. It's a, uh, the time of 
uh, growth is happening or it's a progressive growth is happening in the human body or human being. So the three things are very important, change, process and progress. This is happening from the conception till the death. The whole together we are saying that the study in human development. Hope you can follow me. Is it okay till now? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes, okay, okay, ma'am. Okay. So uh, before we entering into the theoretical or the real uh, biological factors of human development, we have to just look at what is the history of the people, Western or Indian or medieval time or the current time, how the uh, how the focused how they focused on human development. So here uh, in the book, it's written that the perspectives and foundations of human development is a histor history. Uh, in the Western view, uh, it's written here that in 500 or 1580, it's assumed that most of the uh, ch uh, children uh, around the age of two, they may die. So because of so many reasons, mortality rate is high according to them because the medication or medical facilities are very poor on that time. So uh, what is the impact that happened to the uh, that time? It's saying that it was very difficult to cope up with this loss to the parents. So uh, a kind of, uh, they denied a kind of attachment to the infant till the age of two in the uh, Western view. It's saying that the Europeans had no concept. That's why the Europeans had no concept of childhood as a separate stage of human life. So we can say that pre-formationism, the term you can see, the uh, the olden view of historical view, it's a, there is a theory behind that. He, uh, the union between the egg and sperm, we are calling that a conception. Then only the human being life is begin or the uh, they started to live. But in the theory is saying that in the pre-formationism theory is saying that before that, there is a human being is there in the, even though there is a single sperm, in that the form of human being is there inside. And the, uh, the egg itself, there is a form of uh, uh, human being is there inside the uh, egg. When they union together, automatically a new human being is forming. That is the theory. It's a, Now the theory is not that much uh, 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 encouraging. So the, that theory is known as pre-formationism. Uh, but after infancy, but the Western view is that uh, because of the mortality rate is high until the age of two, uh, parents had not that much att attachment towards the infants. So they are not calculating as infancy as a part of the human stage or human development pattern. So when the child is mature as an adult, then onwards they are calculating that uh, human development. That is the Western view. Now it's a change. But in the original sin era, this is the Catholic perspective. This, uh, uh, these things came in the during the 16th century onwards. Uh, there is a thing that uh, uh, original sin is transmitted from the uh, parents or grandparents. So when the child is born, automatically the child is be with the sin. That was the consideration or the concept from the Christian perspective. That doctrine was alive in that time. That was, uh, that's why they, the, they encouraged that we have to teach the children from the young age to how to purify their souls how to be uh, to develop their moral life so from that concept onwards an authoritarian parenting uh, to reduce in the stubborn and harsh mind of the child and finally changed into democratic parenting the authoritarian parenting and democratic parenting uh, that views came from the original sin era because the children are born with the sin so we need to teach so teaching that one, the ch parents must be an authoritarian one or a democratic one. Which one? You have to choose it. But we have to teach the children to come out from their uh, immoral behaviors or the other kind of negativities. That was the uh, view of the during the 16th century. But that history also changed in the era of enlightenment came. 
the claim in uh, one, uh, 1017 not fought in the philosopher john locke we already heard that his era is was uh, 1632 1704 uh, it's around the 18th century so that means he st say, stated that uh, the child is just like a blank state what are the things we are writing in that blank state that will be uh, implanted or the imprinted there from there onwards we are starting a new life uh, or a new change in the human life so from that onwards parental techniques on uh, it started how to teach the children that kind of um, insights or enlightenment we are giving to the parents so these are the three eras the first era western view and the second one is an original sin era and the third one is era of enlightenment era of enlightenment now is continuing and the blank state stage now is following and the people are saying that we have to teach something that will be uh, good for uh, the children because the parents what are the things they are teaching they will write in the blank state some uh, in the new studies is saying that you no know, uh, early childhood is just like a sponge uh, if the sponge doesn't know that where it's there uh, if it's a uh, muddy water it will collect the muddy water if it's a good water or a pure water it will collect it so and finally they will uh, separate it when they reach into the age of uh, intellectually uh, recognizing stage or reasoning stage of six or seven then they can identify which is good which is bad but till that time we are just like a sponge it's absorb everything that's the same thing that is the new learnings the same thing era of enlightenment is saying that it's a blank state what all the things we are writing on that blank state of the children that will be imprinted there they will learn from that one uh, when I am explaining this one, uh, we can realize that in the beginning, uh, we started to eat with our, maybe maybe our left hand, parents correct, uh, just to give a, a hit on the left hand and saying that, no, that is not good. You have to eat with the right hand. So it's a shifted. Uh, that is the way, because they are blank. What to do, how to do, uh, what to write, how to think, all the things are blank. So. What all the things the parents are teaching, that thing will be practicing and they will be, it will be a behavior later. So that's why the parental techniques, uh, because in this era of enlightenment, it's saying that uh, give parent training more so that will be uh, helpful for the children for the better development. Is it clear the three eras? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Now we are going to the uh, Indian view of human development. Uh, this is, I think, simply we can know that I'm not going detail way uh, because Manusmriti, uh, Ramayana, Mahabharata, uh, how the, the concept of child, it's ma mainly stated there, child considered as a god. Uh, India, uh, because in Igno, uh, the other books, Western books, mostly the uh, developmental psychology, you can refer the Western books, very few Indian books. Uh, in Igno, it's nicely uh, scripted there that uh, the Indian perspectives of development. So here it's stated that uh, uh, Indian love their children dearly and believe that children are the gift from God and the products of their previous karma because children will incarnate in the form of karma. Karma that was their uh, kind of belief. Uh, according to Manu, Manu Smriti, man recreates himself through his own children. Childless ill faith, that was the belief. Child and childbirth are important in India. Uh, the main ceremonies related to uh, this childbirth is a conception. Uh, the names, uh, samskaras, like that, childbirth, giving soiled, solid food. That all the ceremonies we are giving, uh, shaving the head. That was the ceremonies in uh, some of the uh, cultures uh, it's an enlightenment to the Indian view because we are really respecting the childhood onwards in the Western we already see that the child till the age of two it's not considered as a part of the human development stage it's an adulthood onwards but in Indian culture today we are considered from the conception till the death we are part of the human development Tagore and Mahatma Gandhi wrote so many things cherishing about the children and the positive growth. And there are uh, studies, uh, that means that test and scientific tests is taken place. That is why we are saying that now we are in a normative period. So many psychological tests 
are developed mainly by Stanley Hall, the father of psychology, first studied children in the laboratory and development and developed so many skills for uh, learning the behavior of the children or the uh, character of the children or the personality of the children. Uh, first study came from the Stanley Hall and uh, we are other name we are saying that uh, uh, Stanley, the instrument is mainly, mainly saying that the Stanley and the other intelligence is, is scale later came by Alfred Binet. This we'll discuss in the learning time. Learning, there is an, an, another unit that uh, learning intelligence and the other uh, cognitive theories. Part of that, uh, the development for first intelligence scale for the children and the people is came from standard Binet. This is a most popular instrument for intelligence checkup or the Stanford Binet Intelligence Scale in 1970s, psychology, psychologists developed theories of models of Indian origin. The standard Binet scale for the Indian origin. So uh, this is some of the historical glimpse of the uh, theory. So uh, my dear students, now I'm coming to you. Uh, what is our view? We, we are just listening to the development. Developmental psychology is a beautiful topic. Because we are learning our own psychology from the conception till the death. Uh, I am asking you, uh, in human organ of a mother, in which organ the conception is taking place? Anyone can respond. In which organ of the mother's body the conception is taking place? Please, students, please respond. You dress. Pardon? Uterus. Uterus. Uh, sorry, it's not. Ovary. Ma'am, Ovary. Ovaries. It's, sorry, it's wrong. Hello. Hello. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, fallopian tube. Yeah. Um, then, okay. Thank you so much. The fallopian tube. How long the journey from fallopian tube to uterus? Because the implantation is in the uterus. So how long will it take from the fallopian tube to the uterus? Because the first journey of one's life, we all travel to the fallopian tube. How long the journey? Seven to ten days, sister. Yeah, yes, right. Seven to ten days. Is there anyone along with us to travel? Hello. Is there anyone with us to travel? No. No. We alone travel. That is the first to travel in our, our life. Uh, did you visit the Vega land or any other places like Giant Wheel and all, no? Yes. Giant Wheel. How, how's the experience, please? Mm -hmm. The giant wheel yeah. experience. Thrilling, thrilling experience. Thrilling experience. All have the same experience, dear ones. All have the same thrilling experience. I think no. No, no, no. 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 Some have fearful experience. Some have beauty shooting experience. Some have very um, uh, discomfort experience. Am I right? Yes, 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 yes. So in the starting, it was so slow running. And when it reached at the end, because it's very fast, and again, it's turned back. It's a slow, and it's a slow, and it's a slow. When it finished, we are saying, aha. This was the experience in the giant wheel. In between, some scream, some will shout, some will vomit, some will cry, some will search for the friends and all. But the giant will never stop. Once it starts, it will end when the operators are stopped only. Even though if you are shouting, stop, please stop, I am really afraid, fearful, it will not stop because it will continue. And when it reach at the end and it will stop and we are saying that, aha, and we are coming out from that one. When we are coming out, some of our friends are passing through and looking into that same giant wheel and asking your opinion that how it was, uh, uh, is it okay, is it very good, what is your uh, feedback you will give? You may say that, excellent, 
You have to be there because it's a, you can't just say how it's the experience. It's an experience we have gone through. It was really vibrant. So you just go in and search. Am I right? Yes, 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 yes. The same way, the same thrilling experience you can see in that journey from fallopian tube to the uterus because our destination is the uterus. After the conception, soon we will the travel starts and it will reach into the uh, uh, that uh, uh, uterus. When it reaches the end of the fallopian tube, the next step is to jump into the uterus. While you are jumping, you are alone. That was the first leap or first jump in one's life. You jumped with your whole energy without knowing anything. But the uterus was ready that time to receive you. It's very much arranged. And you just, just know, embarrassed like. And you just hold somewhere else or some of the wall of the fallopian, sorry, uterus. There you implant, there you implant and from there, there you take the food, nourishment and everything from the mother. That time we are calling that you are not a human being, but you are calling that you are a parasite depending on someone else. But we are not aware that we are depending on even mother, you no, know, breathe, you can get the breath. If mother eat, you can get the food. If mother takes food, you will get the nourishment. Like that, the life is going. And uh, the first jump in one's life, the jump from the fallopian tube to the uterus. And the last jump, what is the last jump in one's life? Hello, this is the first jump from the fallopian tube to the uterus. What is the last jump? To the graveyard. Yes. Brilliant. <laughs> Some say that in each, um, what do you say, custom. Uh, some will say uh, in Malayalam, Kabaradakam. Yes. That also we need the help of others to put it into the tomb. In the Catholic perspective, we need the help of the others to put it into the tomb. If some are in the Chedda, we need the help of the other to put it into the tomb or in the wood. And our life is going to end. In the beginning, we jumped alone. And the, in the end part, we need the help of the others to be there in the tomb or cheddar or somewhere else. So the journey is from I to you. That is the developmental pattern because human being is a social being. It's not an individual being. It's also a social being. So. We need the society and we need the human being to be live alone or move alone. So we cannot live alone. That's why we are calling that a social being, part of the social system. And we are the human being. We have our own interests, our own desires, our own behaviors, our own personalities. We are moving ahead, but we are living with the society. So we need to know the both the sides of you and me, I and you. This is a journey from I to you. How long you are adjusted with the you, that much easy to be with the life. So here the developmental psychology focusing more on I, but at the same time, the adjustment pattern is the most important pattern of the development. That's why the whole the historical things we are shared available. So the students, please, we discussed the introduction part of conception to death. That is a major focus. Development, it's a historical view. Development is important. Three things are there. Change, process, and progress. It's a journey from I to you. And in between the I to you, uh, we are living with the happy life, with adjusted life. So discuss well in your from the group. What is your opinion about this development? Anyone can share if you are understanding well or you are not getting the things you can ask or clarify the things now. Yeah, I'm allotting you a few minutes. You can share it well or what are the things you learned or the views. And before that, the Western view, the human development childhood is not included. Later, it's a blank state came. It's a beautiful phenomenon. And the other one is a sinful era because the sin is already there. Like that, the concept is there, the people's view changed. And now we sustain that this is just like a sponge. 
The children will absorb anything because the in intellectual capacity is low in uh, till the age of six. So they absorb, even though good or bad, they absorb. So what all the things you share in the family, they absorb. And they are deciding, is it good or bad? So if it's good, it will project in later life. If it's bad, it will project in later life. We can control the life until the age of, you know, maybe the 12 or 13 years only. Then after that, they will just counter back to our conversation. This is the life factor. So my dear students, what is your opinion about the development? Development is important or not? What is your view of the early childhood or early life? Please. Very important. Very important. Yes, you are right. It's a wonderful journey. Yeah, it's a wonderful journey. Yes, of course. If you are really studying or uh, grasping well to the others, it will be easy for you to adjust with them. At the same time, you have to learn well about ourselves. It's very difficult to cope with the others. Okay, good. Yes. Pardon? Family, family has a great role in the shaping of the early or the uh, childhood, especially in the infancy and babyhood. How they shape that will come later. Sure. Is any other? Maybe they are your mothers, fathers. You can share your opinions how you view the children's today's and the earlier life. It's good. Ma'am, it is another uh, helpless involvement in the childhood. Pardon? It is unaware and helpless in, uh, involvement. Uh, yeah, un yeah, unaware of the uh, helplessness of the involvement. Yes, that's true. That's true. The character of the child is being built in the early stages. Like if the if it is like a sponge, whatever we are telling the child, that is what child is learning. So the basic character or the core foundation of the child's life is being built there. In the yeah, early the yes, right. You are right. Um, the foundation ah. of the children's life is very, very, very much important for the future life. Of course, we cannot uh, blame the children when they are uh, growing up. After once they become, uh, well, whether good or bad, it is our, uh, I mean, parents' responsibility or uh, whatever manner the parent uh, uh, is uh, uh, bringing them up. Uh, 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 th that way only the children will be. And whatever uh, we cannot blame them. Finally, we are only responsible for whether they are becoming good or bad. Yes, I am right to what the ma'am. Uh, we cannot blame. Mostly people will blame the children. They are not studying. They are going out. Yesterday I got a case that a, a man, uh, a boy, is caught from a girl's room. And the boy came to the uh, girl's house. And it's not the first time. It's the fourth or fifth time the, the own mother of the girl is caught. And the mother is shocked and said and shouted to the child. It's the child is only 14 years old. So I asked her, what is your responsibility to take care of the house? If the other one is coming to the house, how you are not knowing that the strangers are coming to the house? Because she's saying that I'm having another work. You cannot give the excuses that because the parent's responsibility that you have to take care of or shape the child and give the proper training in the early foundation of the life if it's an early foundation is true foundation stage is around the age of six or seven until that stage we if you get or if you give the uh, pure uh, kind of character formation that will lead a positive vibration to the later life surely it's a, we cannot compromise in this one okay any other Uh, now we can move to the other aspect of the thing. The next one is human development. We say that uh, it's a general principle of developmental psychology or human development. General principle. We can see 
the human uh, developmental psychology for the study purpose we can divide it by age wise or stage wise age wise in the sense 1 2 3 4 5 that is a age wise and the stage wise means uh, infancy that is the soon of the uh, delivery we can say that infancy period then after that babyhood then after that uh, um, childhood early childhood late childhood then comes puberty then comes adolescence then comes adulthood then comes old age or in between come middle age so this is the stage wise div uh, divisions why it's divided age wise or stage wise means it's according to siegel siegel is one of the psychologists who according to the siegel uh, the developmental psychology more focuses on age or stage it's easy to learn because uh, what is the condition of infancy? It may change in when you reach into the childhood. And when the change is always taking place when it reaches into the uh, adulthood or middle age. So here comes um, the common in any stage or any age, this uh, na nature of development is uh, uh, applicable to any stage. Development is lifelong. In each stage or each age, development is happening. There is no static, never still. Once it's the conception takes place, from that moment onwards, the development is happening. A zone, it will come, the organic uh, development. Then when it's after birth, then the motor development is happening or the cognitive development is happening at the age of six and the uh, sexual development is happening at the age of 13 or 14 that is previously nowadays six or seven and the like that the development is happening in a whole human beings life so these principles is for all the stages or the, all the ages development follows a specific sequence we can never think that once the child is reached into the sixth accelerated growth is not happening that means uh, the age is six that uh, the child may be very much interested to the play. Then when reaching to the seven, the child is not behave just like an adult. No, we cannot think like that. It's automatically the gang influence will come at the age of six or seven or eight. Then the fian, fans associations will come at the age of 11 or 15. Then will come and career group will come. Like that the sequence of specific development is happening. Once the child sits, first the crowd, crowding, then sitting, then uh, standing, walking, running, taking bicycle. That is the specific consequences of development. Like that, each development follows a specific pattern. Maybe cephalocaudal, vertical, or proximocaudal. Means vertical or horizontal. Mostly when the child, when the child is born, no. You observe, if you observe, you can see that the head portion is very big and the body, trunk portion is very thin. That is a cephalocaudal. And mutually, you know, gradually uh, it may reduce, the head portion may reduce and the uh, trunk portion, the body portion may be having a shape. That is a proximo, uh, proxim proximodistal pattern. So this pattern is always seen in more, all the children. So this is the process. In the beginning onwards, it's not the proximodistal proxy, pattern. In the beginning, there is a cephalocaudal. Cephalocaudal means head portion is big, body portion is a little bit thin. And slowly, slowly, slowly it reduces. That's why the parents, in the you know, when you notice that the head portion, when it's coming out, it's maybe a little bit sharp. So they may be doing like this and like this and the shape will come. So automatically the proximodistal pattern will appear in the late cell life. Development is irreversible. Once it's development start, it, will not, it should not be so reversible. So automatically, gradually, progressive. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, can, sister, can you please use the ear phone and pick up here? Ah, okay, okay, okay. One second, one second. One second, please. We have dimension problem, eco, eco problem. 
somebody i think on the mic i think please off the mics please okay हेलो 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 नाउ इट्स ओके इज इट ओके टू की कैन यू हियर मी इट इज वेरी क्लियर थैंक यू थैंक यू सो ओके थैंक यू काइंडली म्यूट द माइक्स प्लीज ओके सो फ्रॉम we are discussing about the nature of human development the nature of human development i already mentioned that once its development is happening happening it's a life long process once its conception happen the development is already started and it's a life long until the death the development is happening in the development follows the, this principle is for all the stages and all the ages once the development is started the the development is in the form of cephalocaudal there are two ways of patterns we can see in the specific uh, sequence means uh, in the development follows a specific pattern the child when the start, the child is around the age of 1 started to talk in the beginning they will not use big big sentences maybe amma some words only mostly they used to start amma or mamma like that so it's the first word then two words three words sentences then comes paragraphs then uh, no very freely they will speak like that there is a sequence of pattern we can see in each stage of development in the beginning of a child we are saying that a cephalocaudal pattern we can see cephalocaudal pattern means the head portion is very big and the body the trunk portion is very thin and the later when it reach into the around the 2 weeks or after 2 weeks or 3 weeks we can see the change you know changing the shape the head region or head portion is becoming uh, reducing the um, the size and the trunk portion becoming shaping so this is this process is known as cephalocaudal it's a vertical and proxy more distal pattern that means the vertically it's fit to the body shape in the beginning of the child uh, the birth you know birth, uh, soon after the birth it's very uh, un, uh, it's not that much uh, appealing that child to the other one to see or catch but in the later uh, it's okay in the around the age of 2 very much appealing to the uh, other people so that is the changing of the shape so there is a vertical change or a horizontal change is happening that is why cephalocaudal process and proximo distal pattern we can see in the birth time that may change that is a sequence of change and this uh, it's a follows a predictable pattern and once its the development is happening it's already irreversible once it is started it never static it will not be declining declining is on only happening at the age of old age it's a later old age only declining stage is happening till that time it's already it's a moving or growing or fast forwarding development proceeds from general to specific patterns that's already mentioned is specific sequence we can see that and general pattern we can see 
uh, when the child at the age of uh, one or two uh, started to crawl or started to sit then only started to walk then only started to run then only started to take a bicycle or tricycle so this is the process uh, though so this is a specific process so that is that we can see in each stages of development sexual, sexual maturity should come in this age it's mentioned in the developmental psychology so we have to wait till that time so that is the procedure in a general and specific proceeds we can see in the developmental pattern child development as a whole we cannot see that this child is that child is no general generally we are viewing as a development growing nature it's never static uh, from ch one child to the other there is some kind of variations we can see in the development and uh, the hazards or difficulties biological and environmental context strongly influence on development development is uh, uh, mostly depends on the social recognition and all so that's why biological and environmental context is strongly influences in the development a multi-dimensional and multi-directional way influences in um, development here i say this is the cephalocaudal model you can see in the first uh, two months uh, the child's procedure head portion is very big and the body is not proportionate in the shape but soon when they reach into the age of 25 you can see the graph the shape is really forming that is a cephalocaudal it's a, a horizontal way and the, the cephalocaudal development of head and brain tends to be more advanced than in the rest of the body and the proximo distal model this is from top to down. The second general pattern of physical growth consists in the tendency for growth to start at the center of the body and work its way outward toward. The, here, see, you can see the graph is written here. The growth from the center and it's arranging the both the sides and uh, from top to bottom. It's a proportional way the human body or human structure is forming. So that is more on vertical. So this is vertical and horizontal way of development of a human pattern. That is a proximo distal uh, pattern. A tendency for growth to start at the center of the body and work its way outward toward the extremities. The domains of human development, this is very generally speaking, physical, motor, language, cognition, socio-economical or socio-emotional domain. And at the same time, some of the periods I already mentioned, the stages of, uh, of some of the stages, not some of the stages. Here it's mentioned only seven and some books of Elizabeth Herlock, child development. You can see that there are 10 stages here. It's short and it's seven stages. The first stage is prenatal period from conception to death. Uh, sorry, conception to birth. That is the prenatal period. Uh, period of zygote or period of embryo, period of fetus. That is the three stages we can see in the prenatal period. It's in the mother's womb from conception till birth, birth nine months. Then infancy is the next stage, birth to the end of the four weeks. And the early childhood, three to six years, childhood, six to nine years, adolescence period, 10 to 19 years, adulthood period, 21 to 60 years, late adulthood or old age is 60 years to death. My dear students, uh, we are listening to the Western books of the developmental stage. I uh, really asking you that here it's not here it's mentioned that adolescence period is starting from 10. I think it's a little bit uh, uh, recorrected the thing. And according to the current age, when the puberty starts, according to you, when the puberty starts in the current stage, in the current era, nine puberty means the sexual maturity. Uh, 10 to 19, sir. 9, 10. 10 to, 10 to 19. 10, 10, 10 years. 10 years. 10 to 19. 10, 10, to 19. 10 or yeah, Because 9. of the food habit we have now, even it's changed to 7. It starts even at the age of 7. Yes. 
Yes, right. Uh, uh, sister, and, I would like to point out one thing here. Yeah. Uh, this age uh, of puberty is cha changing from region to region. In okay. the Himalayan side, it is like Sikkim, uh, Bhutan, like that. They get the, uh, the puberty at the age of nine itself. And whereas in UK, USA, oftentimes it goes after 12. So this puberty, when we say about that, that regional uh, climatic conditions are also affecting on that part. Please comment. Yes, uh, here also the father of Rindo was saying that it's already seven. But the amazing or the fearful thing I handed over last two years that is the age of four or five, it's starting sexual maturity. It's a big question mark for the counselors and the teachers why it's happening and how to manage these children. It's a minority, maybe one or two or three or four. But still, that's a big question mark, even though in the uh, first standard, if the child is sexually mature, I mean, because the menarche is started, how to handle that children? That is the big question now it's arising from the part of the children. Counselors, please, how to handle? What is your impression regarding this? You already mentioned because of the culture and the food habits and some of the region, it's affected. That's why some uh, nowadays it's an average is seven, average is nine. What is the impression of a developmental psychologist saying? Where is their childhood? It's overlapped. There is no childhood. Even if a child is sexually matured, uh, what is the condition of their parents? What is the condition of their uh, teachers? Where they can send securely? That is the questions now arising from the part of the developmental psychology to the counselors. And the studies are going now why it's happened. The impact, the researchers is saying that because of the junk food, because of the preservative things, it's happening. And the hormonal changes because hormonally in the, the uh, testosterone, progesterone, that hormones are producing in the time of uh, puberty. That is the impact. So these, uh, these hormones are producing, it's early. So why? Because of the preservatives, they are saying like that. No idea. Still, the studies are going on. And the concern is much, uh, very much we have to be concerned about this topic. And we here heard about the stages. Here they are discussing, and now this book, uh, in your book, it's already you know, uh, rearranged the print. When you look into the early books regarding the Elizabeth Harlock latest version, in the Western book, you can see that it's six or nine, it's calculating as an early childhood. And late childhood, it's, sorry, the late childhood. And the puberty is starting at the age of 11 on 13. Here it's not mentioned when, when the puberty is arising. Here it directly jumped into the adolescence. Before adolescence, the puberty spirit is there. So then onwards, there are we have to wait for two or three years. Then only adolescence will appear. So where that puberty, where that childhood? If there is no childhood, what is the condition of learning as a child? If there is no childhood experiences, what is the mature pattern of some of the behavior in the later life? For example, play is an important fact in childhood. If the child is mature in early, the parents really having a fear of to send to the child to the group. So if the play is neglected, the communication and self-esteem may having a question mark in the later life. Any doubts or any opinion? Hello? Are you there? Yes, sister. Yes, sister. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yes. What is your opinion? So, yeah, somebody is asking a doubt. Yes. Sister, does it happen also because of the genes? Uh, genes, I think the studies are saying that no. 
mostly the junk products and preservatives of the hormonal impact of the body and the cultural influence but the cultural influence before also it's there so now mostly saying that the preservatives of the hormonal impact to preserve the things is a no anti effect of the body that's why it's early that's the studies latest studies are saying like this okay. parents responsibility increases so I yes. recently studied somewhere that uh, also when like right now we are eating a lot of junks and a lot of plastics are also going into our body. So yes. a child is born with a human genes as well as the you know outside substances like plastic. So a child is a combination of both. So yes, maybe because of that. Uh, no idea because the studies are not proved. The okay, studies are okay. going on in different different areas why it's happening mostly because of the below the age of five that is the big question mark now and it's a rare cases but the cases are increasing now okay sister thank you um, sister um, you mean that uh, the junk food given to the child that is a reason right uh, the studies are partially agreed partially because of the not the junk food actually the preservatives of in the junk food that is the result came not actually they're saying the junk food is not the thing the preservative they are keeping in the junk food its impact body you know physical impact or counter impact on the whole hormonal effect in the body they are saying like that so now any studies uh, for about these children uh, the stage wise development how this happened uh, stage um, pardon once again this stage stage wise development is not possible for such children right childhood uh, told no I, yeah now now the studies are started only so the now the seriously started the studies they are categorizing these kind of children and taking up their uh, result and all but the proved ones it's not yet came out that the proved studies are not yet came they are saying or resuming that these are the things but the, soon it will appear because we have to get an idea that how to take care of how to handle the children because the thing is the primary sex characteristics and secondary sex characteristics are there that should be developed in the age of puberty. But here the first monarch is happening. That means primary sex characteristics is appear. But the secondary sex characteristics not yet. It is starting at the age of puberty time. So that is the deviance we can see in this child. So how to manage these children? How to handle this one? Is it dangerous to the society or the person? That all the things now which the studies are going on. Sister, I do have a doubt. Sister? Yes, yes. The sound is not clear much. Yeah, am I audible enough? Yeah, it's okay. You can ask now. Uh, sister, is there just one reason behind this, or there can be multiple reasons why the child is behaving like that? There are maybe there are multiple reasons, not only one reason. Maybe the cultural food, the uh, the uh, parents' body yes. structure, they are taking food, the patterns. And the environment. So many, multiple aspects. Environment in the race, uh, like a lot of sexual abusing are happening against children. So they are open to a lot of misinformations. Uh, it's not connected to that one, ma'am. Because that is an another uh, track, the sexual abusers and abusers cases. And that's an another track. The, is this it is not. The, this is purely on physical. Only physical. Biological. Biological. Yeah, this is purely biological. All right. Body change. That's why the sexual hormones, sexual maturity means there are new hormones starting in the body. The okay. hormones should start in the age of mostly. We are expecting that the age of eight or nine or ten. Before that, it was fourteen or fifteen. That okay. hormones produce started to produce in early means five or six or four means that changed that that's that that's the thing why it's early that hormones are started to produce something in fact is biologically happening that's why the sexual impact that the sexually abuse that uh, track is really different one that is very different that when we are discussing in the puberty age that will leave that point thank you thank you so much Ma'am, I just I, I want to ask one thing. Okay, so that's why. Is it, be, is it because of uh, the preservatives uh, giving to the child or from the parents? Yeah, 
Is it? I didn't get. Once again, sir, my I think my headset is not. Is it because it's of the everyone? food pressure of the child or from the parents? Parents, not the child. Parents. Because the child is only four or five, means it's not part of the child. It's the product is starting. The transmitted the egg and sperm. It's pre-formationism. Something theory is behind that one. It's already transmitted. It's a transmitted thing. Thing is a something. So say what? That is the thing, not the child. Excuse me, one minute, please. I didn't hear properly. That's why. Once again, I will just unmute and unmute. Sister, you, your voice is not clear. Maybe in a problem. Your microphone is not there. Stop. Microphone off or not here? Yes, we are not here. know you people uh, very clearly some kind of disturbance is feeling me so the question is not that much clear kindly type it here so it's okay for me ma'am it is what is it's confusing ma'am this is uh, junk food eaten by parents and it is transmitted to the child or the junk food given to the child. This is the confusion now. Uh, what is the conclusion? The question is like that. What is the preservative in the junk food eaten by parents or the preservative eaten by the children in the later the early age?
Hello, yeah. Govinda. Can you hear? Ah, Hello, Vargi sir. Good morning. Vargi sir. Sir is not joined. Vargi sir is there in the class? Hello, hello. Is it audible? Yes, sister. So, what was your doubts last last session? Kindly ask, please. I think the doubt is uh, the early puberty. The reason of early puberty is the food habits of the child or the food habits of the parents or both. Uh, the studies is not yet proved anything. So that's why we cannot clearly say that which one is the right one. But mostly saying that the parents' food habits is affecting the children because it's an early stage. That's the one of the studies is st stated like that. But the other reason the child have the food habit of the children, it's not yet diagnosed, it's not yet proved. But the food habits of the parents is affecting to the child, early, you know, causing the early work. That is the reason it's now not yet to prove the studies are now coming up. Clear? Yeah. 
the reason is only the preservatives or there are so many so a lot of insecticides are using in the food that yes. is the reason or only the preservatives uh, not only the preservatives and other things only the highlighting point is the preservatives thank you ma'am okay so uh, we were on the part of the stages of development so i just to give a hint to the counselors so we have to be if you are learning or studying or doing the research this is our concern why the puberty is overlapping to the childhood and if it's overlapped what is the condition of the children and each stage we already mentioned that it has its own pattern on development on difficulty if the childhood is no vanishing or overlapped what is will be the next condition of if the things is not get in the proper stage of late or early childhood this may cause some of the difficulty to the later maybe in the adolescence or in the late childhood or the adulthood it may affect to the excuse me ma'am yes uh, can you make it this slide show rather than uh, this PowerPoint this time. Yes, right. So I am just show. checking where it's reached. That's why I'm just checking the time. Yes, here we are. My right. Right, yeah. okay, no? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So here, it's missed three portions here. The prenatal, prenatal is the next stage is infancy. infancy itself is divided into two because this stage has its own influence of the development of the personality development of the characteristics development of the behavior that's why the stages is very much important so in the prenatal in the prenatal stage uh, i think it's a 9 months period so something happened in that nine means especially physiologically the parents are not taking proper food that may influence to the later development negatively or positively if not taking food may be mostly the negatively if a has a having a psychological difficulties happen maybe the fear or kind of stress maternal stress maybe because of so many reasons in the prenatal period it may influence to the later life it may it may not you cannot should you cannot say should it may influence some of the things you may be uh, hearing that no uh, sleep walking uh, that is some of the impact connected to the prenatal period so there is a connection between prenatal period is safe there is a safe in the later life if it's negative there may be collective and the continuity of the negativity in the later life. so that is the stage is important and the next stage is infancy in your book you, it's not detailed the way of gone into by stage by stage so you have to refer the child development you can see all the stages is detailed the way of uh, explanations so while we moving to the infancy stage uh, here it's written that birth to four weeks actually uh, this infancy itself it's a shortest period of life span uh, divided into i again two that means uh neonate and parturient we are not discussing it just giving a, an idea that what is the uh, parturient period means the the child is coming out of the mother's body uh, but it's not separated till cutting and tying the thing it's calling that parturient and after that cutting and tying and till the end of the four weeks is known as neonate and there's there are early childhood period late childhood period in between there are pubescent or puberty period is not mentioned here adolescent period then uh, adulthood adulthood itself is three uh, stages early adulthood middle adulthood and late adulthood while you looking into the child development book you can see ten stages in your book it's only seven stages so we are focusing on the seven stages uh, the adulthood itself is the two adulthood early and middle is included together in the sixth point adult could be period 21 to 60 it's a little bit a lengthy period here but in the other books it's written that early adulthood 21 to 40 or 35 or 
Then 14 to 60 is the middle adulthood, that the other name is middle age. And the 60 above is the late adulthood or old. These are the stages we can see. Each stage has its own characteristics and its own difficulties. Some are going through the characteristics and some are going through the difficulties. Uh, according to the Indian view, how it's divided. If this is the Western or a foreign European view of division of the um, developmental cycle. And the Indian view, Brahmacharya. 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 Brahmacharya stage. That is the period of learning. Uh, taking the knowledge. Uh, this stage is ending at the age of 25. And the second stage of Indian view of human development is Grihasthama. <clears throat> Grihasthama is from the stages of family, starting from 25 years to 50 years. And the last one, Vanaprastha, is the detachment, detachment or attachment age, stage of disconnection from the attachment. Because it's a kind of a self spiritual maturity people are turning 50 to 70. This is the Indian division, it's not that much popular, but in, in Indian way of division, we are saying the Brahmacharya stage, Bruhasthama stage, and Vanaprastha stage. Some of the basic principles we can see in the development that is, uh, development is, as I already mentioned, it's a continuous process. But some kind of discontinuity we can see when the development is not happened in a proper way. Uh, for example, um, why when the cognitive development is happening, anyone knows? When cognitive development is happening in one's life, please. Cognitive. We already mentioned heard that sexual maturity is happening at the time of puberty. When the cognitive development is happening. From day one. Day one. Sorry. Second year no. Second? Second year on the when the no. I started talking. No. It is from the no. birth itself which starts cognitive it's development. Not, yeah. When the situation is happening. So, uh, the cognitively developed. Then it's the same. We, we can when we can say that cognitively developed. Sister, it is from the birth itself, the cognitive development it's starting. Starting. starts. Yeah, we can identify that when the child is reaching at the age of four or five, that they are asking questions. Then onwards, we can clear that, okay, this process is started. So when it's oh. fixation is happening in the development of cognition, according to the PR shape here, take it, no? Here. Anyone? No, another way that. In Can another you repeat way. the question once more, please? Yeah. In another way, I will ask. Why, the, when the time, the LD, learning disability is diagnosing, or ADHD, attention deficit, hyperactivity disorder, when or what age is diagnosing? When the schooling starts. The, so that means when the writing starts? So like the age, age of? Age four to four five. five, three to five years. Sorry, no. no. At the age of two and a half, you make the kid into uh, kindergarten, right? Yes. So when you write from that time? No. Okay. No. It is in the age of three. Yeah. It's the age of six or seven. So, till the age of seven is the true foundation stage we are saying in a general. Why means cognitive fixation or cognitive development is purely happening at the age of five to seven, in between five to seven, mostly between six to seven. Till that time, when you are feeling that the child is having learning disability, means he's having difficulty in writing. Instead of writing six, he is writing nine. Instead of writing L, he is writing 7, no, Ulta. If he is writing, we are feeling that the child is having some trouble or problem. If you're taking that child to the doctor, the doctor may say that wait for the age of 6 or 7. If the child is writing the same chapter, then the child, you no, know, the doctor is diagnosed more and more and finally diagnosed, the child is having LD, learning disability, because Till the processing time of cognition, the process is taking place. 
and the reasoning capacity is you know cognitive capacity or cognitive development is the later development in one's life so before the sexual development cognitive development is happening it's a later life not in the beginning of the uh, life it's not happening it's starting but the fixation is happening at the age of 6 or 7 only till that time the child the reasoning capacity cognitive abilities are really shaping that's why we are saying that uh, the developmental psychologist says that to the parents this is the true foundation stage if you teach properly that stage that will fixate even though that stage we have to teach the children to share something give 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 we do we just teach them so the later life they will learn how to share but in the beginning when you you just maybe observed that the parents may give some kind of money and say no give a bank up why they are saying kind of mentality is forming to that children and even though if it's not showing that age that child will show at the age of 11 or 12 so what all the things you are giving in the early foundation stage means 0 to 7 that thing will appear in the later life but if you are not giving proper training on that stage it may be negatively influenced in the later life so here you can see in the first point basic perspective of human development it's a continuous actually it's a continuous process some kind of discontinuity is happening because of the unlearning things or relearning things or maybe things in the happening of the life and development has its own nature and nurturing process is development is as i already mentioned in a while ago that social recognition is needed when we uh, just to think of now uh, last year we were not aware of the google meet zoom meet nothing but later now we are much comfortable in the online classes and some are saying that no why why you are giving the lecture and oh sister you are oh, the voice is so cute your expressions are so nice this is a kind of nurturing the person because they are giving an encouragement and a positive strength the next the uh, online meet i will take the mic with much comfortable that i have a confidence from the social group that it's okay that okay position i got it from the social norm so there is a nurturing by nature we are developing at the same time nurturing from the society is needed for the development that is the basic principles or perspectives of a development active versus passive development we can see that some kind of active expressions are there some kind of internal expressions are there Ex internal means it's not very visible inside uh, development but outside development expressive developments also we can see stability versus change there should be uh, some way of stable if we are mature enough in moral things that we are really principle oriented like that is stable in our life fixation is happening some are much but much more strict about ourselves because we learned from the family and we are stable in the strict character to us ourselves but that stable character may change in the other things in life so stability and change is always happening in our life and we are in a middle path we are not going to the extreme or minor level we are in the average or middle level so these are the basic things continuity is the discontinuity of development some can happen discontinuous means it's a negative impact nurturing and nurture nurturing and nurturing effect is the active and passive effect is the stable versus changing effect is the and a middle path we are you know moving into the in between or in the average track here it's uh, just mentioning that the biological influences of human development because our genes or chromosomes and the other aspect from the hereditary influence in the human development and environmental influencer or social influence is there for the, the development maybe mostly from the family socio economic status and culture may influence on human development 
normative and non-normative influences. Normative means each state has its own influences to the development and non-normative means uh, other experiences, the, maybe the parents' death or the school, uh, some kind of uh, uh, big tragedy is happening. That is a non-normative history graded in the influence of the development, maybe negatively or positively to the human life. Critical and sensitive period, uh, because in the development there are both the periods may be much critical and challenging and more sensitive to the uh, needs of the people by self or the other. Specific time and the occurrences or absence of certain events have great impact on the development. All the things in one's life may influence on the development of a person. That is in short, we can say that. Any doubt in the unit one, please? Any doubt you can ask. Otherwise, speaking, can I? Okay, continue. Can I, that means a development can be a group into of right, sociological development, family development, and economic development. Uh, then development uh, he learns from his friends and especially from society and the surroundings. Yes. Am I right? Yes, yes. The development influences from uh, the hereditary, at the same time family, at the same time peer group, friends, education, the experiences of how we brought up. All the things influences our development in one's life. Sister. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, I do have a doubt. When you have told us that uh, Six to seven is the age for the fixation of anything like ADHD or learning disability. From so, which age you should start observing the child? Because uh, I had a similar experience when I went to a counselor. They told us that, see, six to seven is the maximum age when the child needs to treat. It's not a treatment. It's a therapy that the child needs. So from which age you should start observing the child? to know that whether the child is having some kind of learning disability or any kind of learning disorders. Yes. Ma'am, uh, the fixation of LD or HD in, in age 6 or 7 is wrong. Actually, uh, we have to regret that one. The fixation of cognitive development is happening in the age of 6 or Correct. 7. Yes. ADHD and LD. It's a cluster of neurological impairment and a lifelong impairment. <coughs> So it starts from when the child is starting to speak and write. Then onwards we have to observe. Because when the child is at the age of two or three, some child will start to write. So starting writing, maybe it will happen six. If they write six, ulta, they will write nine. They will write yell, they will write seven. Instead of writing yell, they will write seven. Maybe that is because of the cognitive capacities processing. So slowly, 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 it improves when the child reaches into the age of six or seven. It may be correct. It may be automatically. It may be they will learn how to write L, how to write seven, how to write identify six, how to identify seven, nine. You know, they, they can easily identify at the age of six or seven. It's okay. Mm -hmm. If it's not correcting till the age of six or seven, continuously they are making the mistakes. In right. all the times, when all the time, times they are writing, instead of writing loud, they are writing 7 O V E. They are writing like that. And they, you are saying that spelling mistake. Mostly they will get spelling mistake. So right. that is not feasible. Uh, because they have to be note that one, but continuous. Because they can't write yell. That is the learning. It might be dyslexic wrong. in that case, right? Yeah. So when it reaches to the age of 6, you can go to the hospital and say that I am observing from the age of two to six. He is not changing. How many times I corrected, 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 but it's not changing. That means the doctor again gave the test of LD and clarify at the age of six or five. Till that time, they will wait because it may change because the cognitive development and processing is happening in the brain. So that may be, may be change in later life. So if it's reaching seven, Already fixation has happened. So that means it's an indication that it is difficult to change. Oh, then then oh, they oh, sister, one, one more point about six to seven ages. <clears throat> Can I raise here? 
can i about the six to seven stage ah. i want to i didn't hear you sir can i ah. uh well i i have about uh i have six to seven years age okay. and uh, was observing everything uh, the surroundings in the home. and then that uh, child was sent to lkg okay. uh, that that teacher was the uh, job making and she simply asked him a name three animals that you milk to you mm. so the child simply told one is a buffalo the other one is goat and third one is mummy <laughs> okay okay yeah that father uh, was feeding that uh, child yeah. uh, till the age of two, five and okay. I, i should appreciate the mother and child Yeah, the point is that the child is observing everything in our society is very uh, better than a gentleman, isn't it? Yes, and yes. He, he has a proper answer to speak up. You yes. know that uh, things are generally different from the point of order to from the childhood. It is very very different. Giving a name is something that gives any man a big child. One is that so, the other one is not, and the other one is mummy. Yes, mummy has to appreciate that. She is very little at the age of five years, which is a lesson for us. Yeah, that is a great thing. Actually, while we are uh, interpreting that child, intelligence IQ is okay. The thing is, the cognitive capacity of the child is grasping level is okay because he grasps what all the words are being given. He, he observes, but the giving answer that is the children's difference, you know. The giving answer, the proper answer, is right or wrong? He doesn't know. He doesn't know. That's why the IQ level is okay. The way of observe observation is okay. Uh, he observes nicely. Uh, he giving answers properly. That's not wrong. It's okay. The brilliant child. I say it's a brilliant child because the thing is, uh, even though he doesn't recognize which one is the uh, animal and which one is the thing, because only he is focused on. that you can see in Milka. the intelligence uh, development pattern in standard b uh, the how the child is categorizing because all the uh, animals what are the anim- name naming the animals it's different barking one crying one so that is the differences we can see in the intellectual area other unit is coming in the third chapter fourth chapter i think uh, how the children are recognizing and identifying the names Of the persons or categorizing how they are learning, uh, that all the things come. But we, in the prior to that one, all the children till the age of six or seven is in a general way of speaking. They really don't know how to speak, how to give the answer. But the answer is really proper. We have to admire that one. And okay, the other thing, you. the other thing, uh, the, the the noticeable thing is, I said no. Uh, the age of six or seven is the cognitive development time. But before that Excuse only. Me. Uh, the ppt is gone actually it is uh... yeah yeah i will i will show because this is all just right. a discussion okay. all right thank you thank you so before that the um, uh, children may ask questions so many questions they ask this is an indication to the parents that their intellectual or cognitive ability is starting to process so uh, maybe that questions will be tough sometimes i heard last year one child you no know, and the mother is you know just dragging the child to the hospital rushing to see the doctor and the child is so uh, i think a boy and the she was asking to mom 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 please and she asked what is the difference between x-ray and xmas so the mother stood there and shouted that child and said for oh, the time gone you just go just walk like that So I, later I saw that the mother and I said, even though if you don't know or don't give the answer, don't shout, because this is time of developing their intellectual capacity. Give some answers, so the next question will appear in their mind. How many questions or so many questions if they are asking? That is an indication that their intellectual capacity is developing. That is the mean. So uh, that will end by around the age of seven. That we learned. So that is the process we can see that the cognitive process is in it is taking place. If the questions are very minimal, that means the intellectual capacity is really an average or a bigger average like that. So if it's a so many questions, it's so hard to read the question. We really have to you know happy about that because the processing is really high. 
Okay, now we can, any other doubts, please? Otherwise, we can move to the biological perspective of human development. Ma'am, as per your opinion, what is nature or uh, nurture, which is right? As per your personal opinion. Uh, nature means by nature. We have, no, uh, but in the time of conception, in the time of conception, there are four things are happening at that time of conception. The first thing is uh, hereditary endowment. The genes passing or the chromosomes passing from the parents to the child, uh, the mother and father to the child, and the new generation is born. We cannot uh, control. Uh, which gene should come? No, that is God's intervention. So, what the nature will come? Maybe the color, shape, the character, emotions may catch from the parents uh, what God is deserved to the child. Surely that will get. We cannot uh, intervene in the transmitting the genes to the new uh, child. That is the first thing. That is the nature. By nature, from the family, from the environment, from the genes, from the peer group, the child itself having or forming a kind of characteristics. That is nature. Nurturing means uh, we are getting positive strokes or social recognition from the others. So some are saying that you are so handsome. We are getting so handsome, so handsome means even though if you are not that much okay, but unknowingly your mind is saying that I am so handsome. That is a nurturing. Nurturing means an, an enhancing ourselves, boosting ourselves that may influence in your social dealings or social behavior. And some, maybe the parents may say you know, to the children, you are a blessed boy, you are a blessed one. When you reach into our house or you, when you're born, I got this much things, that many things, I got a job and also they are imparting or giving the knowledge to the child that you, know, you are the blessing of hearing, 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 hearing that one. Automatically he is saying that I am a blessed boy or I am a blessed one. So even though there is a crisis time, he is unknowingly maybe face the situation and saying that I am a blessed one. It's easy to come over the child. So that kind of, that is a nurturing terms or terminologies we are getting from. Nurturing means it's a progressive growth is giving from the social setup. Is it clear? Okay, okay. This one, which one is more important? This is a question. Both this is a, are important. Yeah. Both are important. Yes, sir. That is the right answer. Both yes, ma'am. Mom, nature means it is coming only from through uh, only coming through genes, right? Uh, no, not only genes, sir. It's already uh, genes, but that's biological. But at the same time, the family itself giving a kind of nurture characters, personality is forming after birth on. So from its that nature, introvert nature, extrovert nature, from the, how the, it's getting from the family background, uh, or the situations where we lead. The social exposures, what we got it. So all that things is uh, forming the nature of the person. Fair? Yeah. It's not yeah. only from the gene. Sister, but social exposure comes in nurture, right? Uh, not exposures are not nurturing. Nurturing means some supporting words or encouragement should be. The exposures are there if they are not getting proper encouragement, a kind of negativity will come, kind mm -hmm. of fearfulness will come. So, mm -hmm. nurturing always having a positive impact from the society, from the surroundings. Mm. Okay, so thanks. Okay, now we are moving to the biological. Biological, we can see, <coughs> I can see through in a video the whole picture of a, how a, the child is getting born that is the uh, animation video just watch it and see it and listen uh, what all the things are happening in there start speakers the
Sister, right now somebody else is presenting the screen. So can you please again present your screen? Page back. Great. Can you see that one? Yeah. Uh, can you hear that one? No, sister, we cannot. Sherin Maria yes. is presenting. Sherin Maria is presenting. Uh, that group is there. Okay, hello. Our uh, group is there. Yes, yes. You can, can see that one. You can see. Even though it's not hearing, you can see. No, we could see for a moment. Now it is disappeared. Okay. Uh, now it is seen. Sister, are you presenting something? Hello? Yes, it is going on. The presentation is going on. But uh, it's not visible. Maybe the are because we all are able to see. Only is available. Oh, it is going on. Please pin her screen. You will be able to view that. Sister, in. Okay.
ovaries come out uh, the right or come out from the ovaries either any of the ovaries and in the course is there as the sperm is deposited in the vagina automatically the sperm penetrate to the ovum uh, in the fallopian tube then the conception is taking place that is the process of a beginning of a new life that much clear so sir is there any way to share the ppt and the video yeah sure 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 so uh, that is the process of ovulation and that is the process of conception actually this unit 2 mostly focus on the biological cycle there are three preparatory processes in the human uh, development in the male body there are two processes and female body there are three processes the maturation and fertilization is taking place both male and female and ovulation is happening on the in female not the male so these three preparatory process is needed to take or conceive a baby ovulation i already mentioned every 28 day a ovum from either the ovaries there are two ovaries in the female body two ovaries either the any of the ovaries a right ovum come out if the sperm is deposited the sperm penetrate and the conception takes place so uh, according to so uh, how many uh, children are possible in one conception how many children in a normal process how many children normal process it is one child yes then how come two how come three how come four if there is how a is many ovum many ovum hmm. comes out then yes. the sperm gets uh, fused with them okay then simbra means uh, twins and triplets may come yes what is siamis yeah. what is siamis that is uh, that is the uh, like uh, actually it is it is a conjoint it is a conjoint there is no separation between the uh, two children one body one trunk and the two heads may be there uh, the one ovum uh, actually it is some uh, i forgot actually Okay. Yes. In it's not. Yes, ma'am. Yes, dear ma'am. I got flips because I have got two pair of flips. Right. Yes. What? Uh, there are two types of twins. What are they? Uh, uh, identical and fraternal twins. What is the difference between identical and fraternal twins? Because identical is the splitting of the zygote. a differently form okay. fraternal means two different individual that means two different sperm two different ovum fused or joined together then forming a two separate individual separate means maybe a girl or boy or in the color or shape everything different 
one may be a uh, boy or one may be girl so that is fraternal two different ovum two different sperm union together and forming a new child or new human being that is fraternal identical means one zygote or, or one sperm and one ovum one ovum union together and when the time of division they divide together no? split by two then it forming a new you know, human being that is known as identical twins. In identical means all the gender, color, texture, shape, everything is the same. One feels the other one feels. One having fever, the other one may be having because their uh, basic uh, structure of or egg and sperm is either one or two. That's why then divide it. And the cyanis is coming from the uh, the division is not happening fully. Some of the parties joined and the other whole part division time all divided and some portion of the some body part may be joined together and not dividing. So that is called is cyanis, cyanis. So that kind of divisions is happening in a biological divisions of human development. Otherwise, there are uh, the preparatory process from the time to birth. There are nine months, psychote, fetus, like that names are calling. Your yeah, books is not mentioned, the whole detailed one. So biological influence, in the time of conception, the first thing is transmitting is the chromosomes or genes. Gene, genes are forming one's life. Genes are forming one's life. Genes are shaping our character. Genes are forming our behavior patterns and all. So the chromosome effect is much more important. And the biological aspects of uh, the body structure and the organs development, each uh, each stage, a psychot stage or fetus stage has its own development. Uh, when the male or female, how to, when uh, at the uh, prenatal stage, in the prenatal stage, when or which month we can identify the child is a boy or girl? In which month we can identify? In the microscopic identification, when it's possible? Anyone knows? Third month. Sorry, no. The, the child is girl or boy? Then? Uh, uh, sir, I have inquired about the identification. Fourth month. Yes. No. No, what was the question being given? At which month in the prenatal stage the child can identify the boy or girl? Recognize. In the womb. In womb. Uh, yeah, in the womb. It is in after six weeks. No. Four months. No. Fourth month. No. Fourteen weeks. Mm, maybe right. It's in the second semester scanning. That means the fifth month. Till that time, the genital organs, its shape is the same. So that's why in a microscopic view or in a scanning view, we cannot identify it's the boy or girl. But now the abortion rate is high, so the Indian court, you know, law court is not allowing to uh, proclaim that uh, the, the boy, the child is a boy or girl. The gender identification is not possible nowadays, but the microscopic scanning view is visible at the age of the month of fifth month. Till that child time, the child looks like boy or girl. We cannot identify. But the time of conception, God is really created him as a boy or girl. But a micro microscopic or the scanning view is visible at the month of five. But it's possible to test the amniotic fluid of the mother. Then we can identify or recognize the boy, the child is boy or girl, but that is not permitted. Even though in the serious cases only it's permitted because the mother's health is effective. That's why uh, it's uh, it's not possible in, uh, in, the, in case of any urgency only that test is allowed. Otherwise, the fifth month onwards only, the identification of the gender is possible in one's life. That means, till that time, each part of the organ, the eyes, kidneys, liver, uh, the motor movements, smell, taste, is happening in the womb itself in each state. 
the detailed and minute details is not needed for you that's why i'm not explaining but you have to be little bit of knowledge about the thing and the full development is happening at the month of 7 in the month of 7 all the development is happening all the organs are fixing and the, the remaining two months that means the ninth till the ninth month how it is function that is the practicing or a training type it's needed because even though the child is reaching the age of puberty at the age of 13 and the marriage is after 18 that means the three years we need a preparation the, the same way that no seventh month the four things all the organs all the development is happening in the mother's womb the child is fully functioned human being but the two month the remaining two months is a processing time to come up. even though the pre maturity before seven it's affecting badly the health moral quality of the child or the post maturity after nine it's also affecting to the health of the child so the proper timing and the proper development is needed in the time of biological development that is we can see in the unit be clear Clear? Any doubt? Ah uh, yes, it is clear now. Yes. So then I, now the time up. So can wind up. If you have any doubt regarding the biological or the introductory uh, part, you can ask. Uh, sister, will you please give me your telephone number and yes. uh, if wanted to contact me? You... Yes, sure. Sir, I will type. I will. I will know in the text box. I will type my number. Oh. <laughs> okay students we'll see you tomorrow the remaining chapters there are three more chapters in the block number one it's a little bit quick book so we can see the theories now we are moving to the theories uh, so that we can see you tomorrow thank you so much i will type my number uh teacher will you please give me your telephone number <laughs> yes sure sir i will type here i will type here my number Ma'am, I can't mark my attendance. Okay, thank you, sister. The number is missing. Again, missing. Okay, you could not, could not write it. I already wrote there eight six zero double 